If you don't master this house, it doesn't matter how good your natal chart is. Hey there, Scorpio Risers. It's your number one fan, the birthday coach here, Jeremy Ryden, saying you were born for more. You deserve more love, happiness, and success. I try to help you do that through the secrets of astrology. Hey, we just passed the 3,000 subscriber mark. All right, we're growing slowly but surely. And if you're new to my channel and you're a Scorpio Riser, take a moment right now to hit the subscribe button, ring that notification bell icon button so you don't miss any future Scorpio snacks, as we like to call them around here, uh, on how to live your best life. If you don't get this house taken care of, it doesn't matter how great your natal chart is, you're not going to be living your best life. You're going to be having more stress. I want you to be successful. And there's definitely secrets to living a more successful life through astrology. Astrology is nothing more than the cosmos, the DNA of the cosmos, the universe inside of you in human form. So you're a mystical, magical, powerful person. Uh, we have all types of emotions and temperaments. Not all Scorpio risers are the same, but they do have similar agendas and similar school lessons, earth lessons, spiritual lessons that they must master while they're living this incarnation as a Scorpio riser. So with that being said, what is the house that we got to really focus on if we want to see other areas of our life to begin to improve? Drum roll, please. Da -da 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 -da. It's the number six, the sixth house. I know some of you are letting out a audible groan. Oh. Because if you're new to astrology, sixth house is not always fun. Sixth house, a lot of times, is the routine, it's health, it's co-workers, uh, it can be your enemies, it can be debt, uh, social, it's just a lot of things. In, in the Vedic, they would even call it a negative influence. We know we live in a world of duality, positivity, negativity, sunshine, rain. Uh, it's all part of the human experience. Scorpio Riser, why you got the master, why you got to get your sixth house right. And if you're not doing sixth house things on a daily basis, how that can affect your love life, affect your career, affect every other area in the chart. All right. Now, Scorpio, our chart ruler, we have two chart rulers. The traditional ruler is Mars. And then for those that go out uh, to the new age or Western, we look at Pluto being the chart ruler of Scorpio. If you're new to my channel, I love Pluto. I'm a Pluto dominant person. Uh, and I spend many, many episodes talking about Pluto. And go back to the original series, Scorpio Rising Ascendant Secret Series, where I talk about Pluto quite a bit in that series. Uh, I've been shifting focus back to the traditional ruler of Mars, especially in whole house astrology. So I do do astrology tropical, Vedic, I do all the different house systems. But if you don't get the whole house down, it doesn't matter. You're not going to be whole. The play on the world. We want to be the play on the word whole. We want to be whole. And so you may take together house systems that feel more like you, but you've got to get the baseline whole house operating no matter how your personality shifts with different house systems. So with that being said, every Scorpio riser has uh, Aries in the sixth house. And with Mars being our traditional ruler, uh, that means Mars is ruling the sixth house for a Scorpio riser. In fact, it's ruling our first and sixth house. In this episode, the sixth house must be activated, must be on, it must be honored for your chart ruler Mars to be strong and to be healthy and to be whole. And so the sixth house it's the house of exercise. It's the house of being fit. It's the house of Earth, Virgo, right? Even though it's ruled by Mars, sixth house tradition is ruled by Virgo. Virgo is an Earth sign, being steady, being stable, being, uh, you know, uh, uh, just really health conscious. It's a healing sign. It's a wholeness sign. And so Scorpio risers, for those of you that do not like to exercise and do not like to lift weights or run or do physical activity, uh, you are going to have a more difficult time than the Scorpio risers that are much more athletic in their body. And there are, listen, there are Scorpio risers that are very fit uh, because they got a strong Mars in their chart. Their Mars is maybe conjunct their sun. It might be in an, in, in an Aries, might be in the house that it wants to be in, uh, might be there in the sixth house. And so 
uh, there are Scorpio risers who maybe this video doesn't apply to you. You're like, I love lifting weights. I love exercise. I love treating my body right. I love having a routine that I can really just master my life with, not even think about it, but just get the routine and go with the flow every day. Yeah, are those type of Scorpio risers. But then there are the other Scorpio riser, bing, 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 uh, that did not have very much of a healthy relationship with their body. Uh, you know, they may have had more things going on with the mind, more of the polluto aspect of deep thoughts, deep thinking, uh, emotional healing, uh, you know, and if you got the other influences going on as the Scorpio riser, maybe you got that Neptune in the first house or you got different things. Maybe you got Mars and cancer or something. And, and so, just the natural athletic ability isn't there. The desire isn't there. Maybe the desires are, oh, I want to lose weight or I want to look good. But the stamina, the ability to follow the routine, the ability to feel the challenge is like exciting. There are Scorpio risers that love a challenge. It excites them. There are other Scorpio risers like, I've had enough trauma. I don't want, they don't see challenge as something exciting. They see challenge as something to avoid. And you can't avoid challenges, Scorpio Risers. You cannot avoid it. It's going to come. And so you're better off looking at life like a comedy adventure. You see those comedy adventures where it's like, Psh, you know, they got the, the hero. It's kind of almost funny, but he's he's facing one thing after another and everything blows up behind him. And he, you know, wipes his hands, says, okay, my work's done. Puts up a grin on his face. What's next? What are we going into now? Scorpio Rise, you're like that. One adventure after another. One adventure. Look at it as an adventure. Look at it as an opportunity to experience. All right, let's, let's meet this next thing head on. You're not going to do that if you're not honoring and strengthening that Mars. And so I did a video earlier on this. Some of you are saying to me, Jeremy, you did a video about we have to strengthen our Mars. Well, you effing got to do it. You know, and so a lot of you have seen you know, I've lost, you know, close to 70 pounds, you know, starting to lift weights, you know, starting to, you know, I, am I near where I want to be? No, but I myself, you know, Mars rule myself realizing that because the sixth house is ruled by our Mars. And if we want all the other houses to be recognized, to be activated, it goes through that sixth house. That means you have to have some type of routine. You have to get into some type of routine. You got a, a health routine. Six houses health. So that means you got to learn to like the Virgo, which is interesting. The Virgo sign. It's just like the Scorpio rising. If you look at the symbol, the, the glyph, right? The Virgo tail, right? Is down and the Scorpio is going out. And, uh, you know, the point is this Virgo, I mean, Scorpio, you got to start getting more healthy. You want to be more wealthy, you got to get more healthy. It starts with really, uh, you know, what are you eating? What are you drinking? What are you doing? And so Mars, you know, some of you might like all different types of exercises, but Mars is a soldier. He wants to go head on, one-on-one -on -one combat battle. That's why weightlifting is important. I don't care even if you're a woman. Daily, weekly, you know, three days a week, resistance training. If you want to have less resistance in your life towards your goals and towards your dreams and towards your love, then do resistance training. Well, that sounds so metaphysical. You better believe it. You want to get the energy out of you. You want to get all that. We attract drama. We attract drama because there's all this energy in our mind, all this energy in our subconscious. We got to push it out of us. Instead of attracting drama, attracting people resisting us. We want to repel the resistance of the universe, repel the resistance of things that are coming against us by weight lifting, getting the body. Put the resistance in the body, not your love life. Put the resistance in your body, not into your mind or into your job or your career or into your creative pursuits. If you're feeling resistance in any of these areas, go lift weights, go do something physical. You know, so weightlifting is one, but also running, running, jogging, you know. So I'm not saying you can't do uh, group sports, right? There's nothing wrong with doing group sports, but make sure you're also doing sports or exercise that are totally dependent upon you because Mars 
He's not the team player. Mars is the one-on-one -on -one combat. So boxing, or we look at running, jogging, anything that, uh, you know, uh, any kind of courses. And you're like, man, you're going on and on about the, the exercise and we're 10 minutes in and I'm already bored. You want success? You want to be blessed? Then you're going to have to start taking this serious. And so... Six house is health, but it's also routine. Get in a routine in your health. Get in a routine in your career, work, your schedule, your life. If your life is a mess, it's probably because you're not putting the energy into that sixth house. Now, if we got planets in the sixth house, you have to want to strengthen those planets because once again, the sixth house is probably one of the most important houses for Scorpio risers. If your planets are in there, they're some of the most important planets because they're right in the house where the chart ruler is ruling. So that means these planets are important to your Mars automatically, whether they're aspecting your Mars or not. If you've got planets in the six, those things are important. Now, later on, I'm going to do another episode where this gets too long on the karma. A lot of Scorpio rising, even if you have no planets in the six, our karma is wrapped up in the sixth house of service. If you're a Scorpio riser, most of the time you're going to see your automatically being pulled into helping other people, pulled into taking care of other people's drama. Even if you didn't ask for it, you're becoming the counselor, the fixer, the, you know, that sixth house, that Virgo. Virgo is one of the best counselors, is the most analytical, helping people to problem solve. Most Scorpio risers are here helping people to solve their problems because of that eighth house crisis, other people's crisis. So I'm saying a lot of stuff, saying a lot of stuff. I'm going to have to do a whole video on the karma of a Scorpio riser and how that's linked to Virgo in the sixth house. But right now, just to give you a remedy, start serving. If you're burned out, if you've been hurt, if you've been let down, I don't care. Cry to God, get healed, wipe your tears, learn your boundaries, but get back to serving people. Because if you're not serving in some way, doesn't matter. Resistance will come. Accusations will come. Attacks will come. It'll all be projected onto you because part of your karma in this lifetime is to help other people, even if many times we just want to avoid them and keep to ourselves and have our solitude. All right. What planets do you have in the six? Hope you're doing good. Hey, have you lost any weight? Have you built any muscle? What are some of your weight loss or some of your health routines that you think are great for balancing, grounding, and building your courage because Mars is courage. The six houses, these routines are teaching us how to have the strength to believe we can meet any challenge head on. Life's an adventure. Go out there. What's next? You got it.